Hello and welcome uh, to my DIY today. I was making sure I didn't have chocolate on my lips. I just ate a chocolate, homemade chocolate chip cookie. Women's church group were going to make some mug rugs and let them decorate their mugs. So I'm going to show you what a mug rug is and how to make it and then how to decorate your mug. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Here's the materials you need. First of all, you need Sharpies, but oil-based Sharpies. If they're just regular Sharpies, they will not work. And then you need a, a mug, okay, to write on. And then this is a mug rug. It's just a blanket, a little blanket that you put your mug on. See, isn't that cute? To put your hot chocolate in it. And you just need six by six, two six by six material, and six by six cotton that goes in the middle. Then you put these face to face and then this on it. Sew around, even opening, and then you have your mug rug. We'll go in and show you how to make the mug rug. Then we'll come back and show you uh, how to decorate your mug. All right, let's show you how to do this. And I also got another kind of material with some little elephants on them. Okay, now you just sew around. We want to leave a hole at the top to turn it inside out with. Just sew it all the way around. Let's go around the corner. And leave a small opening. Okay. These mug rugs are cute. And easy to make. Snip the corners. And then turn it inside out while you where you left it open and poke that corner out and go to all four corners. Okay, see how you've got that now? Now you're just going to top stitch around. And if you need that corner out a little bit more, use your seam ripper too. Or pointier. You got that little bit of padding in there, like a quilt. Now just top stitch that. And if you want, you can add a pattern in it or do some X's or an elephant one. You could sew a circle around each one, but I like it like that. Okay, there's an elephant one, mug, rug, and a striped one. Okay, let's go do the mugs now. I have a couple of mugs here. Just make sure they're washed off good and dried off really well. Okay, let's get the mugs going. Um, and. Uh, you need some wet wipes in case you make a mistake. I'm going to get my black one for the liner. Yeah, I've got black and green, so I want to draw, attempt to draw a four-leaf clover on there. And if I make a mistake, I've got my wet wipes. And you can draw whatever you want on there. I printed out a clover. I have something to look at while I'm drawing. Let's see. I'll put that about in the middle here. Not too shabby, huh? And make sure you let it dry before you touch it. Okay, there's my outline. Let that dry. And then the other one with the elephants, I'm going to try to attempt to draw an elephant. This elephant that's on here. I think that'll be cute. Well, let's see. Fairly easy pattern, right? You draw the elephant's ear and an eye. Okay, let's let those two dry. Come back in about 10 minutes. Hey, okay, I'm opening opening up the gray one, so I can color the gray elephant. On the elephant one, if you want to give that to a friend, you could say something like, I will never forget you. And on this one, my grandma, Lee, she would always, whenever I said lucky, she'd always say, you're not lucky, you're blessed. So I'm going to put on here, I am blessed. Because I know what that means. I'm going to color that green and then put, I will never forget you on that one. That will be way cute. Okay, let's see if that's dry yet. Looks like it. I'm going to let it set a little few more minutes. And I got the pink out. I might color the elephant pink and write with the gray since I have the pink thing there. 
the pink uh, mug, mug rug. So just color that on there. So it's kind of fluorescent. And you're gonna let it dry. And after I let this dry for about 10 minutes, you turn, you put these in the oven and then turn on the oven to 425 degrees and bake for half an hour. Then just let them cool in the oven. I have to highlight this again. Okay, let that dry. Now let's get the green. I think I'll go with dark green for this clover. I get across the edges. Put that in. If you mess up, just get your wet wipe. Okay, let's let that dry. Then write as nicely as you can. I will not forget. Actually, we don't even need to write to put you. That's all I can fit on there. I will not forget. This green clover one, I'm going to put I am and then put blessed. Let's let those dry and then we will bake them. I took the marker and made bo more bold lines. And that look cute and colored it in a little bit better. I will not forget on the elephant one. And I am blessed, not lucky, blessed. Look how cute. And you put your hot chocolate in there and you are good to go. Okay, now make sure that it is how you want it to be. So once we bake it, it's permanent, permanent. Okay, now put them into your oven, cold oven. Okay, set the timer. Temperature 425 degrees and bake for 30 minutes. Okay, they are done baking, but I'm going to leave them in. You just turn the oven off, turn it off and let them sit in there for a couple of hours and then that is permanently on there. Okay, now get another cup. I've washed it. Now our Relief Society theme this year is Come Follow Me. So I'm going to write on here, Come Follow Me and do some little footprints. You could even put a footprint here or you could even go inside and put some footprints. But I don't know how I'd draw it in there. So let's do Come Follow Me. And I'll do the little footprints. I'll let that dry so I don't smudge it. Okay, there's the footprints. Right around there. And I'm going to color it now. And I think I'll put a flower right there. And I've got the mug rug all ready to go. And let's bake that for 30 minutes, 425 degrees. Hey, this one's out of the oven. It's been in there for two hours and it is on there for good. It won't even wash off. Come follow me. Hey, I did the come follow me with the footprints. The I will not forget. And I am blessed. Oh, and these are way fun, way fun uh, for your kids to do, your grandkids, your Sunday school class. Kids love this and adult, the adults are going to love it too because uh, you get to put on there what you want. You can have just whatever you want. Uh, and you can give them away as gifts. Go to Olive Dollar and get those porcelain mugs and then make your mug rug. And it's just a really cute gift. You could put a little package of hot chocolate in there uh, uh, and then roll up the little rug and put it in your cup and put a little bow on it and give it to a friend. Um, so that so that or fill it with some cookies or just whatever you want to do it's just a really fun gift or a fun thing for your family to do they could all just put their names on it or just whatever they want to do for different holidays valentine's put hearts on uh for christmas put a santa for saint patty's put a four-leaf clover it's just whatever you want to do Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Subscribing, and remember my DIYs every Friday at two. And just remember, you're not lucky; you're blessed. Thank you, and goodbye.
can't believe that you are real. I used to dream of someone like you.